Hey guys, so I look like a hot, hot mess right now. Uh, I just got back from taking the two dogs for a long, nice walk because it's so warm out. It's like, it's weirdly warm out for November. But before I start this day in life video, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, which is Quip. I have actually been wanting to try these toothbrushes for a while now. I know Sam really likes them. She did a, I don't know if she did a review or she did something where she mentioned them. I'm sorry, I don't have my tripod, so I'm just gonna like squat in front of this box. She did something where she mentioned them and I was like, oh, that looks really interesting and I've seen them all over my Facebook. Anyways, I was just really interested about them and so when Quip reached out about doing a collaboration, I got really excited. So they sent me this little care package right here. If you're not familiar with Quip, what they are is an affordable electric tube toothbrush that looks really really nice a and b it comes with a subscription plan so you can get refills on the brush heads i believe it's five dollars every three months they'll send you a new brush head or you can do a ten dollar subscription where they send you the brush head a full-size toothpaste and then a travel toothpaste every three months which i think is amazing because the amount of times me and john end up like needing to replace our toothbrushes but not remembering to do it like John would be like hey I threw away my toothbrush do we have any new ones and we usually don't <laughs> so this is really nice because it kind of takes the guesswork or not guesswork but it just takes the like thought of having to replace a toothbrush out of your mind you know you're either spending five or ten dollars every three months which is really affordable considering toothbrushes that we buy are just as much but you have to go to the store and get them and all of that plus tax and you know all of that rigmarole so I think that's a pretty good deal they did supply me with a unique link and also referral code I'll leave underneath this video for your first $10 refill free so if you sign up underneath that and use the referral code you'll get your first refill in three months for free so I thought I would just take these out and show you and then also um, use them in a little bit later in this vlog the ones that we picked out they come like this they're very nice the ones we picked out were the metal ones these range from anywhere I believe from $30 to 40 something dollars I only picked those because I just really liked the metal ones and I feel like metal will last longer so yeah and when you think about it we used to have an electric toothbrush and they were really expensive to replace the brush heads on like that was the first thing when I asked John if he wanted to you know collab with Quip um, I asked him I said you know do you want to do this does it sound like a good idea and he was like yeah because when we had our electric toothbrushes from like some you know name brand whatever the brush head replacements were like $25 or something ridiculous. The brush heads are very affordable. They have two minutes of time and then they stop on their own with 30 second bursts or pulses. So kind of like my Clarisonic where every 30 seconds it will pulse and tell you to move to a different section of your face. This will pulse and tell you when to move to different sections of your teeth. They come in a package like this. This you actually get rid of but it's really nice packaging. And then I got the rose gold one and then John got the black one right here. I'll let him open his though. And then it just comes out like that. And then this thing right here is not only the holder that sticks to like a mirror or any type of glass for you, but it also acts as like that when you're traveling, it acts as like the lid. So that way you don't get any of your gunky gunkies on your toothbrush or anything like that. So that is really really nice. I like that a lot. I'm excited. I'm excited because this color is amazing. <gasps> so pretty. It looks better in person than it does on camera. It's more pinky rose gold in person. Like it matches my nails exactly, but on camera for some reason it's showing up more orangey. Just like my face right now. So that's what the toothbrushes look like. Pretty sturdy. Alright, so let's go ahead and try the toothbrush out. I don't want to, it's so clean and pretty, I don't want to even get it like, I don't want to put it in my mouth. <laughs> it's so nice. I hate brushing my teeth in front of people. Like a huge step for me when I would start dating somebody was if I could brush my teeth in front of them or not comfortably. <laughs> you know you're in with me when you see me brush my teeth. So this must mean you guys are all in with me, but I hate, I just hate brushing my teeth in front of people. I don't know why. John hates me because I squeeze from the middle, not the end. But in my defense, I squeeze from the middle and then I push down. You know? Yeah. So I actually really enjoyed that. I realize I'm not brushing my teeth as long as I'm supposed to. Like, are you supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes every single time? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It did its job. My mouth feels clean. All right guys, so it is uh, Sunday and we just had Thanksgiving weekend. It was amazing. 
Um, it's a lot of work we hosted this year. We tend to always host. Um, I'm not sure why that ends up happening that way, but we do. And it was good. We had John's parents in town and his brother and his nephew. We did some Black Friday shopping. I took John's mom out uh, Black Friday to do some shopping. And then we did the zoo because we have a special Christmas lights thing at the zoo every year. And that was a lot of fun. We hadn't gone in four years because the last time we went, our kids traumatized us because they all freaked out like... Kaya was a baby, I was still nursing her, Wyatt was a toddler, I was breastfeeding, it was so cold, and Wyatt freaked out, like really, really bad, like tantrums galore. So that was pretty intense and traumatized us, we never wanted to go back. It was our first time back in four years and we had a lot of fun, it couldn't have gone better, the weather was beautiful, it was just a really nice time. But that's what we do Black Friday, Saturday, we didn't do much, we hung around the house, kind of decompressed from the weekend. You guys know I'm a huge introvert, so having that many people in my house for so long was very overwhelming for me, so I just needed some time to just, you know. But yeah, we did some shopping on Saturday and also a bunch of online shopping as well over the weekend. And we also decorated the outside of our house for Christmas. We are uh, getting in the Christmas mood. John really wants to go all out this year. Not sure why, but he does. So we got some stuff for the front. I decorated a little mini Christmas tree in the front house and lit it up because I thought it would look classy and cute. And then today we did some more outdoor Christmas shopping stuff like we got our Christmas tree for the downstairs, which we'll probably set up tonight, which is why I wanted to start vlogging. And then also got a few other things for the outside. So John's putting up the lights outside. And then he's gonna set up the tree downstairs and we'll probably decorate that tonight. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do tonight. I am about to use my Instant Pot for the first time. My mother-in-law, we were at Target and I was like, oh, the Instant Pot, I've been wanting that for a long time. And she was like, well, I'll get it for you for Christmas. It'll be your early Christmas present because I didn't know what to get for you anyway. So she got this for me and John. <laughs> I was like, John, too bad, this is your present too. Um, and I'm really excited to use it. It is the eight quart one. I'm gonna make some sweet chicken with some root vegetables. We got potatoes, carrots, celery, onion, all of that. And then a green bean casserole and some mashed potatoes because I just feel like trying out my new Instant Pot A and I feel like being a little bit extreme because I wanna feast tonight. I don't know why, it just sounds good to have the house smell really good and Christmas music going and decorating the tree and I don't know, I just felt like doing that. Kaya's over here. Doing some watercoloring, aren't ya? Yeah? And I'm just getting the downstairs prepared for the tree. John's outside trimming it. We have, we're getting a little bit creative this year, guys. So this year we wanna put the tree down here. Usually it's upstairs in the front room, as some of you know. It's just, it's cozier down here. And I love spending Christmases like unwrapping and stuff being cozy. Uh, but we never had room down here. So this year we're gonna try to configure it in a way where it looks nice, there's still room, and then also we're gonna find a, a way to keep it away from the dog. So we got a four foot tree this year, which is not that big, uh, because we're gonna put it on a table so that's up off the ground so that if Penny does come down here, you wanna make sure she can't get to the tree because she does love to chew. We're gonna try to make it cozy down here and make it Christmassy and hopefully save the front room from being too um, crowded up there. Cause the front room's smaller than this room. So whenever we would put the tree in the front room, that with two dog kennels is just gonna feel overwhelmingly like too much. There's the Penny girl though. We took Penny with us to go get our tree. And then we also took her to Lowe's to get the lights for the outside. And she was so good, weren't you? You were so good and everybody loved seeing you. We're trying to socialize her. There's Nuna drinking some water. But yeah, so with the two kennels in here, it's just too much to have the tree in that corner. Just too much, so we're gonna put it downstairs. We're slowly but surely getting decorated for Christmas. We have my little glass tree from my grandma um, before she passed away. And then we have my glittery gold poinsettia that I got from, is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I don't know, but I got from Lowe's. I saw it and I was like, oh, I can't pass it up. It's so pretty. It's only $9 too. And I have another one over here that's just smaller. He's a good girl, Penny. And then I'd show you the lights outside, but that would mean showing you guys the whole front of our house, which I don't want to do. But I will show you the little tree I decorated. Ouch, don't bite. I'll show you the little tree that I decorated though outside and then I'll show you the little DIY thing that I'm doing as well um, when it's done. This is how the chicken and vegetables turned out. The vegetables taste really good. Not sure about the chicken yet, we will see. I also made a green bean casserole just because some mashed potatoes, some rolls and some gravy. It's dinner time, you excited Wyatt? So it is Monday and I'm exhausted. Where 
Was I not charging a battery somewhere? This battery's about to die. I need to find a new battery. I should really be more organized when it comes to my camera stuff. But I wanted to take you guys outside and show you two of the decorations that I did outside of the house. So this is the first one. It's just kind of, I don't know, I saw these all over like at all of like Lowe's and the local greenhouse. And they were literally just pots of like pine stuff. So all of the trimmings that we trimmed off of our Christmas tree I just put in this flower pot that I already had on my porch and then I put some of these decorations that I got from Joann's on. So I don't know it didn't really cost me that much and yeah I'm gonna trim up some of the scraggliness on the outside so it looks a little bit more uniform but yeah I did that. And then John bought me this little mini Christmas tree. It's like a three footer and I put it in the uh, planter that I have. I usually put summer flowers in there and like a fall flower but I just buried the stand underneath there so it just looks like a little mini Christmas tree and I decorated that and then that gets lit up at night. We also have some swags on all of our doors and a big ass candy cane for some reason outside. John really saw this huge candy cane wreath and wanted it, so we have that outside too. And then a lot of odds and ends. But yeah, it all looks pretty nice. We're definitely getting into the holiday festive feel in this house. Is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I'm a little bit frazzled. I woke up on the wrong side of bed this morning. I did get a video up, however, and I got laundry done and the kitchen clean, so I guess it's not the end of the world. But I don't know. I'm just feeling really... I don't know, I think I'm just really drained from the weekend. I think that might be it, so yeah. My order from Black Friday, or actually I ordered it the, like at, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night on Thanksgiving came from Bed Bath, or Bath and Body Works. I always get Bed Bath and Beyond always mixed up with Bath and Body Works. Soap. I got a bunch of soap, because I stock up on all my soap throughout the year, and then I got six candles, because everything was buy three, get three, with an extra $10 off. Ooh, John's fleeces also just got here. Basically, I just got my favorite smells, which is bergamot waters is my favorite, favorite, favorite right now. And then also the grapefruit gin fizz right here. A lot of you guys were asking me. Um, these two are my favorite scents. They just make the house smell so stinking good. And they're not like too overpowering and they're not super sweet and they're not super masculine and they just smell really good so i got bergamot waters and grapefruit gin fizz i think i just got those two and then a bunch of different soaps and then john's eddie bauer order came which i just got him a bunch of his fleeces that he loves because they were 50 percent off and i just usually stock up on black friday for him because as you guys know that's all he wears during the winter is his eddie bauer fleeces got my peppermint hot cocoa and now we're going to trim our tree like i said our only solution for the new puppy in the house was to have a tree higher up. So we got a four foot tree. I don't know, it's better than nothing, I think. All right guys, there we have it. Our puppy proof tree. Yes, because of you, because of you. Yeah, so basically, like I said, we just got a nice little five foot tree and then John trimmed off the bottom so that I could make my little uh, holiday pot outside. And it fits nicely on the top of our um, end table right there, so. Hopefully this way we don't have to worry about Penny and getting into the ornaments. And yeah, it's not the greatest tree, but it's still a tree. Charlie Brown's Christmas taught us anything. That is a beautiful Christmas tree. And then these girls, crazy. This is another reason if we would have had a full size tree, one of them would have gotten knocked into it and would have fallen over. Like that, they're getting dangerously close. So I'm going to wrap some of the gifts that I ordered on Black Friday. Uh, they just came in the mail. I got this for Wyatt because he specifically asked for some Matchbox car um, monster truck things. So I got him that and then some extra monster trucks. I also got some new curtains. Um, these gray ones, they only had two, these two at Target, so I had to go order the rest of them. So I have to hem these though, but they're gonna go up on this window. Then I got um, June, my first Bananagrams. I thought that'd be a fun game for the kids. Some adorable Despicable Me unicorn slippers for Kaya for her Christmas Eve box. I got some sweaters for Ava because she really likes the sweaters at Target. And then I got this for Kaya because she's been asking for this, so. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap all that for them. Well, I am gonna let you guys go. Hey, I don't even know what day it is. These day in the lives always get away from me and I've been a little bit stressed and um, out of sorts this week. 
It's Wednesday. <laughs> I forgot to vlog a couple days there, didn't I? I've kind of had an emotional morning. <clears throat> if you saw my Facebook, you know why. So I'm gonna just let you guys go here. Thank you for watching as always and for everybody who is super understanding and sweet to me on Facebook. I just really appreciate it a lot. Um, I just really appreciate it because I don't look to the internet for emotional support. <laughs> like that's not usually where I go for anything really because I have my family and friends for that. But sometimes it's nice to get an outsider's um, support. It's just, it, it feels, it feels nice sometimes, especially when there's always so much negative coming from the outside world. Um, it's nice to hear the positive. So I want to thank you guys very much, but I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you all in my next video. I am planning on doing Vlogmas this year. So for everyone asking, yes, I will be posting a video every day of December. Whether it will always be a day in the life video, I am not sure. I'll try to get as many of those up as possible, but they will consist of all sorts of videos. But it will be every day of December. That is my challenge <laughs> to myself. But, oh, sorry, I've had an emotional morning and I'm just strained. But I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.